what it looks as if we're getting a reimagined version of Double Dragon with Double Dragon Revive. And I have to admit, even though we've only seen a small glimpse of the game, I already have some major concerns. I mean, was AI used to put together this reveal trailer? Not even 10 seconds into the trailer and we have gibberish like this. And it's not just the reveal trailer that seems as if AI was used. Even in the reveal art, it appears as once again, the developer simply used an AI image. As both Billy and Jimmy have just random letters all over their jackets that don't mean anything. In fact, even their faces look extremely generic, as if they were randomly generated. And the fun does not stop there. Look at a side-by-side -side comparison of these two screenshots. One is when Billy first enters the scene, at the start of the trailer, and the other one is when a Bobo smashes his way through the wall. It's simply a copy and paste of the exact same environment. Like really? We're doing this copy and paste method in the reveal trailer? I mean this thing is not even a minute long and we already have signs that make zero sense and reused environments. This is not a good first impression. And even if you could excuse all of this, look at this. When a bobo breaks through the wall or window or whatever this is, there's a giant explosion for some unknown reason and everything just falls. It doesn't shoot forward as if there's a giant brute bashing his way through it. Everything just falls. It's like there's no physics at all. Who greenlit this? I mean, who watched this and was like, yeah, this looks good. Let's reveal to the world our 3D Double Dragon game using this trailer. By the way, what is with all the random explosion and overly done effects? Is this a Double Dragon game or a Street Fighter title? In my opinion, the second half of the trailer is much better. It is actually more of a grounded fight scene. Yes, some of the moves are over the top, but at least you can see what's going on. Not every punch and kick needs a special lighting effect to it. I mean, Billy and Jimmy Lee are just martial artists that get into street fights. They're not Super Saiyans. Now I know, I know. This is just a reveal trailer and it's not actual gameplay. So maybe the game will look much better. And you could think that. However, judging by the screenshots, you would be dead wrong. Just look at this. Compare this to Double Dragon Neon. And before anyone accuses me of cherry picking screenshots, to keep things fair, I'm only selecting images from the Steam page for both games. I mean, can you really tell these games are 15 years apart? I don't know guys, I just really hope Double Dragon Revive gets cleaned up quite a bit before the official release, because so far things are not looking good. And it's not just the graphics. I mean, are they really going to use massive red highlighted areas that are about to take damage? It looks like a Bobo is powering up to do some sort of charge attack. Thank God that we have a massive red outline of where he'll be charging into, with flames coming off of him. Oh no! The enemy is going to charge at us blindly, full of rage. Quickly, move out of the way so he runs into the wall and stuns himself, giving us a chance to counter attack. Okay, okay, I'm going to stop complaining for a moment and actually discuss what the game is. After all, it does seem like there is quite a bit of confusion online of what Double Dragon Revive is going to be. I mean, is this a tournament fighter or is it a traditional side-scrolling beat-em-up? And believe me, I get why people are confused because the trailer was kind of all over the place. So let's take a look at the description listed on the Steam page. The ultimate belt-scrolling action experience. The player traverses the screen horizontally to take down enemies in this beloved genre. Experience the same simple and intuitive gameplay with controls and balance refined for the modern era. The carefully crafted experience, supervised by staff with experience on Arc System Works, fighting game titles, makes it easy for new players to get engrossed right away. So yes, this is a traditional beat em up. So anyone that was concerned that we we're going to get some sort of double dragon tournament fighter, you could put those worries to rest. If you were hoping this was a tournament fighter, well, I don't know what to tell you. Thrilling strategic action. The combat requires adaptation and variety, more than a simple button masher. Delve into the strategy by learning enemy patterns and finding the most effective attack timings. Pick up weapons scattered throughout the stages and make the most of the arena gimmicks to seize the upper hand in battle. 
So while I didn't necessarily love the reveal trailer, and I don't really love the screenshots, at least I'm liking what I'm hearing. The best beat em ups are not simple button mashers, especially when it comes to Double Dragon. Return of the Double Dragons is a great example of using complexity and variety in your combat system. If they're able to pull a system like that off and implement it into this game, I'm going to be a happy camper. But man, I just, I really don't like what's been shown so far. Like when they say use the environment, do they mean finishing attacks by tossing the guys into a fridge or a dumpster? Because if that is all the game's going to have to offer, it's going to suck. I mean, Double Dragon Neon at least had airlock stages where we could blast guys into space. Give us some cool shit like that. And as for learning enemy patterns, I hope it's more than just dodging massive red zones. I don't know, guys. I want to be excited for this one, and I'm still going to keep my eye on it. I'm not going to write it off simply because of a bad first impression. I love Double Dragon, and I love this genre. And I'm even going to say, I don't even care if they're using AI to help make the game. But God, go back and clean it up. Like, this is just bad. But I would love to hear what you all think. Are you guys excited for Double Dragon Revive? What other beat em up games are you guys looking forward to? Let me know in the comments down below. By the way, if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm going to get back to the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.